Nuclear Consultation Agreement, U.S. and South Korea strengthen alliance amid North Korean threats. Intro hello and welcome to Capture the Intelligence. Today we are going to be talking about North Korea's recent missile launches and what they mean for the region. On the same day as the missile launches, February 14, the United States and South Korea signed a framework agreement for a nuclear consultation. Rupert, the South Korean Ministry of Defense, this agreement outlines a process for the two countries to consult on nuclear strategy, including the sharing of sensitive nuclear information and the development of a joint response to nuclear threats. It also includes provisions for the two leaders to establish a direct communication channel in the event of a nuclear crisis. The signing of this agreement is a significant step forward in the U.S.-South Korea alliance. It demonstrates the two countries' commitment to working together to deter and respond to the threat of nuclear attack from North Korea. North Korea has been on a missile testing spree lately, firing off multiple cruise missiles in recent weeks. Some experts believe that these launches are a sign that North Korea is preparing for war. However, I believe that there is a more nuanced explanation for these provocations. First, it's important to understand that North Korea is a country with a very limited. They don't have the resources to engage in a full-scale war with South Korea or the United States. So why are they firing off all these missiles? I believe that the answer lies in North Korea's desire to deter its enemies and to create a more favorable negotiating position for itself by demonstrating that they have the ability to strike targets in South Korea and Japan. North Korea is hoping to deter these countries from taking any aggressive action against them. In addition, North Korea may be using these missile launches to test and improve its weapon systems by firing off different types of missiles. North Korea can collect valuable data on their performance and accuracy. This data can then be used to improve the design and effectiveness of their future missiles. It's also worth noting that North Korea's missile launches are often timed to coincide with major political events such as the U.S.-South Korea joint military exercises by firing missiles during these times, North Korea is sending a clear message that they are not happy with the status quo and that they are willing to use their military power to defend their interests. So what does all of this mean for the future of the Korean Peninsula? I believe that the situation is very dangerous and there is a real risk of war breaking out. However, I also believe that there is still time for diplomacy to prevail. The United States and South Korea need to make it clear to North Korea that they will not tolerate any further provocations. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, share and smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.